Hey everybody, John from the Crafting Brothers here. It is late Thursday night and I have finally finished my build of the Orc Tribal Tower. Man, what a build that was. It was really challenging. Uh, I'm gonna work to get this uploaded so I can have the video up tomorrow. So uh, without further ado, let me go do that and enjoy this video. So my goal building this tribal tower here is to stick with using simple materials. So I'm starting with XPS foam from Home Depot for my main structure. I'm using an image of the tower to estimate how big to cut out each section of the tower. I love it when I'm looking for simple materials and I come across something like this. It's just a plastic flower pot and with a little trimming this is going to be the base for my tower. Next I needed to create the different sections of the tower so I decided to cut some cardboard out. This way I won't have to use up all my XPS foam. So after a little glue and tape, this section is ready to go on top of the base. The one thing I know I'm going to need a lot of are the stones that this tower is constructed of. To do this, I'm going to be cutting up hundreds of XPS foam strips into little pieces. Additionally, each piece needs to have its own unique shape, so I'll be trimming each piece by hand. Now it's time for my favorite thing to do in crafting, texturing stone pieces using this tumbler technique. What you do is add all of your foam pieces to the tumbler, followed by a whole bunch of jagged rocks, and then let the magic happen. I'll make sure to put a link on the screen to this video on how to texture foam bricks the easy way. Okay, back to the workshop now where it's time to cover all sections of the tower now with my newly textured foam bricks. Now it's time to start working on all of the wood detail that surrounds the tribal tower. I'm going to create a scaffolding-like structure for the different sections, so I've collected a bunch of twigs in the yard for this. Next I'm going to create the wood windows that go on the very top of the tower. Again I'm just using cut up branches that I'm going to glue to a piece of cardstock. I'm going to need to cut three holes in the top section here so I just want to mark off where I'm going to cut. I've created these wood planks using XPS foam strips that I sanded round using my belt sander. Next I'm using an X-Acto blade to cut the wood grain in the foam. Then just follow up with a pen or a pencil to make the wood grain in the foam. This base piece goes under the top section so I just need to have a stone pattern around the outside edge. When I'm done cutting out the pattern, I'm going to use my soldering iron and tinfoil technique to get the rock texture. Now I'm ready to work on the base piece, which is the foundation for the whole tower. Again, the technique here is to use an X-Acto blade to cut the lines out, and then a pen or a pencil to deepen the lines. Now 
Now's a good time to give all my pieces a coat of Mod Podge and black paint to seal it before we do our final paint job. Next, it's time to work on the many tusk-like horns that are going to surround and fortify this tribal tower. I'm using air dry clay for this, and I'm guessing I'm gonna need probably about a hundred of these things. I'm going to be 3D printing a whole bunch of different kinds of skulls and skull piles, and I'm also gonna go into my Citadel skull collection, and these are gonna be attached all around the outside of the tower. Then after that, I'll start attaching these tusk-like horns all around the outside of the tower as well. All of the wood pieces on this tribal tower are gonna to get a coat of golden brown, and then I'll finish with some burnt umber acrylic ink. Usually only one coating of the ink is necessary, but sometimes a second coat is needed. Next, it's time to give all my tower sections a coat of pewter gray. As soon as the pewter gray is dry, we're gonna go ahead and do a light dry brushing of granite gray. Finally, a dry brush of white is applied last, which helps the rock edges stand out. Make sure not to use too much paint here. You can put it on, but you can't take it off. After the paint has dried, I'm going to apply two different washes here. First, I'm going to use a Liquitex Brown and then a black wash over that. I decided to paint all these horn-like tusks with a ivory color. Hey everybody, so I'm about halfway through this project and admittedly, this thing is a beast. This build is huge. I didn't expect to run into all of these details. That's all this project is, is just detail, detail, detail. Making all these wood pieces, these tusk-like things, the skulls that I've got to print out, and I've got to like hand carve these little fang like things all over this thing. Honestly, I wish I had just 3D printed this thing. I said I was going to handcraft this thing. It's Tuesday. I've got to have a video done by Friday. So let's get back to it and finish this tribal tower. So basically I carved out this little fang like thing out of XPS foam. I just sort of winged it and uh, just drew it in with a pencil and then cut it out with an X-Acto blade. I'm cutting down some of these wood pieces to make racks that I can use to attach the tusks to. After that, I'm wrapping some string around the rack of tusks to give it the illusion that they've been attached with a rope. And now begins the process of attaching all of the little detail pieces that I've been spending days putting together.
These little pieces here are basically the bottom part of the jaw entrance, which I forgot to film myself making, but it's just made out of XPS foam. Here I'm carving some wood daggers out of these sticks, and what I'm gonna do is provide an extra perimeter of defense around the base of the tower. All of the ivory painted bones, skulls, and tusks are going to get a brown wash all around the structure. Next I'm using more string to make these wood trusses look like they're tied together. A little black wash on the string gives it the appearance that it's an old rope. I'm gluing a piece of synthetic leather here to give the illusion that it's the hide from an animal like a buffalo. And of course, to sell the illusion that this is a buffalo hide, I'm going to put a buffalo skull right on top of it. Okay, back to the tusks. I've got tons of these to put on the structure here, so I'm just going to start placing them on strategic areas on the tower to give it a really mean defensive look. After I've got most of my tusks attached here, I'm going to start going into the skulls and skull piles and get those attached. I've got two more buffalo skulls that I 3D printed out, so I'm going to give those a brown wash and find a place to attach them on the tower. Okay, so the one part of this tribal tower I decided needed to be printed out was the roof. I literally ran out of time and I had to finish this video to put it out on Friday, so I made that compromise and 3D printed the roof. Now let's get back to the detail pieces and finish up this build. Now you'll notice on some of these tusk pieces that I have some string wrapped around the end here to simulate rope. And I just did that using a hot glue gun and then wrap some of the string around it. After gluing on these wood windows, I remembered one of my little tricks to use rose thorns as part of the defensive structure at the base of the tower. To wrap up this build, I'm going to just black wash some of the ropes here to make them look old and aged. And then a final brown wash is going to be applied onto all of the tusks and skulls and anything that looks like bone is going to get some brown wash on it. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this epic build of my orc tribal tower. It was definitely a challenge. Uh, send me your comments, let me know what you think, and we will be back next week with another build or challenge. Bye now.
Thank you.